Welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. Client has sent in a request to do some custom wainscoting or at least something close to that. You know, Chief has a lot of great ways we can accomplish this task here. He sent in a picture of the wainscoting he's trying to copy. Let me show you, uh, first of all, how you can do that with a simple base cabinet. So just click in a couple of your base cabinets. Let's go into perspective view and we'll kind of tilt the camera around so we can see. So we're looking for something with a little uh, definition on the cabinet door style so chief has chief architect has a lot of base cabinet or kitchen cabinet tools so we're just going to go down here's american woodmark i can double click into that i can go into let's see timberleg accessory door styles and we can go through their different door styles and we can try to find one that's similar to the style that you're looking for and that's usually the quick and best way to do it um, for instance of just making it quick if you just want to show somebody but if you want to do it exact we'll have to draw it exact but i'm going to go in here to a couple different ones and see if i can't find something um eh, close enough you know so let's see do 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 I'm going to look for, say, craft made. Ah, okay, door styles. Here we go. we got all kinds of door styles to choose from. Are any of them close? Well, that one's kind of close. Uh, oh, there we go. There's one that's kind of close. Let's double click into that. Buckingham looks like, so I can just apply it there. Uh, if I double click this cabinet and select the drawer, I'm going to delete the drawer so it becomes a full door. Then we'll go to the Generals tab, and we're going to keep the height at 36. We're going to keep the width at 24, but the depth we're going to take down to 1. Um, the countertop edge detail looked a little different than our picture detail because it has like a, a three hoop thing and it has a little base at the bottom. We could do that as well with these cabinets, which is really nice. So why don't we take the countertop for now and we'll zero it out. Um, we're going to go to construction, box construction. And let's see, let's do uh, frameless is good. Traditional overlay gives us a little bit of room. Full overlay goes the full extent, which is probably where we want to go. <clears throat> I'm going to go to door styles and drawer styles, and I'm going to take away the door handle, because obviously we don't need that. And then molding, let's add some molding. <clears throat> so the first molding we'll try to add is that top one. And again, with Chief, you can actually draw exactly the molding you want. But again, I'm going to go through the moldings that Chief already has and see if we can get just something close. Like, there we go, there's something close. If you want to draw your own molding to be exact, you can go into the program of Chief Architect and literally draw the three hoop molding and apply it. But I'm going to grab the one that's already pre-made on this one here. Um, we can do the box construction, frame separation. Um, let's see if we can do this. Let's do the traditional overlay, vertical app, uh, I'm going to say one. Oh, I'm going to say, sorry, negative one. So see, I'm bringing the door back down so it exposes that, which is kind of nice. Um, let's go to the generals tab or back to the moldings tab and let's add a new one because we want to add now a base molding. And they had like a simple base molding with a little curve on top. So we'll just grab one that we think is similar. Say OK. That one will say bring it to the bottom so it has a bottom piece there. And so there is quickly your wainscoting. <clears throat> Box construction. Um, I'm going to choose a frameless to get it back a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I can do insert, I guess, to make it a little flush. Okay, so something like that. Delete that bad boy. Copy and paste in place this one, and here we go. So by using Chief Architect's uh, door styles and drawer styles that they offer, you might be able to get pretty close to what you're after. But what if you want to get exactly to the wainscoting that you're after? Well, we can do that as well. We just have to use polyline solids for that. So <clears throat> I'm going to take my elevation tool, run up against a wall. I put my existing wainscoting over there as, as like a reference for me. And then I'm going to use my polyline solid tool. So I'm going to come in here with my polyline solid tool and I'm going to drag up to where I think it's going to be about here and I want to make these kind of wide let's go back to the picture real quick and we can see these are kind of wide panels here so why don't we make ours wide as well we'll make it about four feet long how about that and again you can get exact just like you can with anything else eh, I think I like four three better and now I'm going to take um <coughs> excuse me I'm just going to take a cad box tool and I'm going to draw my line somewhere inside my polyline solid. And I'm going to make the pattern of the molding that I want out of this CAD line. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to look for my chamfering tools, and here's one, fillet lines, and I'm going to automatically hit the fillet line so it corners all four corners at once for me. Then I'm going to come in here and grab just one corner, and I'm going to flip it the other way. And uh, let's go in about there. I mean, we don't have to go too crazy. I can hold control on my keyboard, and it'll give me a lot more control as I flip this guy the way I want it. So I'm going to flip him in like that, and you can see I'm just kind of uh, modeling now that molding that was on that panel. So there we go. Now that I got it the way I want, I simply come down here to my magic tool and convert it to a 3D molding polyline. And again, I want to go into my moldings tab and I replace the square that Chief gives us. And let's use something like... Hmm, good question. Which one shall we get? Eh? How about that? That looks good. And again, you can adjust the size and shape. I don't really care because I'm just doing this as an experiment. But there you go. And it looks like some of my arches might be, again, a little too tough. So what if we bring it back a bit so it doesn't see so dramatic? <clears throat> again, I'm holding control down, and I'm just kind of rearranging that arch so it's not so dramatic. You can also pull it further apart if you wanted to make the arch bigger. But it looks like... Um, yeah, it looks like that's really good. So why don't we go to our full camera overview, go to my spray can, and let's look for some wood under cherry high res. Hey, it's already set, which is really nice. And I'm going to just hit plan file and paint everything the dark wood. And then again, I just add another molding for the top, the one I want, and the base molding the way I want. And if I find I need to move this up, I sure can. You know, you can just take it and move <coughs> the molding up or down. So you give yourself more room at the bottom for a base molding. So that's how I would do it. And of course, once you're there, you can select the molding and select the panel that you've made and you can block it together. So that way you can just grab it once, copy and paste in place, and you can now copy multiple ones and drag them across the wall. So it gives you that wainscoting look that you're looking for. So hopefully you learned something new here at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for watching. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks so much for watching and sending in that picture. That always helps a lot. Every time you're trying to tell Dave, hey, Dave, how do I do something? A picture is worth a million words, so send that on in. So that's uh, always the way to do this. So thanks again for watching. I hope you learned something new, and I'll talk to you guys later.